There were a lot of visitors to Defusky Island this weekend to watch the Marsh Tacky races. Here with a little more on that and much more with the Defusky Report, Channing Heiss, Binya Foundation member and Defusky reporter. Hi, Channing. Hi, Allie. How are you today? Great, thank you. Uh, well, what about it? How did things go? What have you heard about the Marsh Tacky races? Well, uh, by all accounts, it was a, an enormously successful event. As you know, it was the first time it was held on Defusky. That was a little bit of a logistical trick, but everybody stepped up and, and made it work out great. There were over a thousand attendees. It was great weather on the beach. Uh, the winner, the general winner of the race was a horse by the name of Jack Friday. Uh, there was one little incident where a rider was thrown and there was a, an injury, but she ought to be all right. And we ended up with a, a semi-riderless horse for half a race. But other than that, it was great and everybody it, really enjoyed it. And they're expecting to do that on Defusky again next year. Wow, that sounds really great. I know uh, one reported estimated maybe a few hundred. So a thousand is a lot more than at least one uh, news outlet predicted. A Belk's uh, annual spring uh, sale charity event that took place over the weekend as well to benefit nonprofits. Uh, well, your Binya Foundation is one of those. Was it well supported? It was. We, we sold a lot of tickets. We want to thank everybody who bought tickets from us and all the other nonprofits who benefited from this. Uh, Belk does a great job supporting these nonprofits, and as you know, events like this are, are the lifeblood of, of, of what keeps nonprofits uh, afloat. Uh, so we really appreciate that. And they're going to be doing it again in November, the first weekend in November. So we're really looking forward to that, and we want to thank everybody who made that happen. Great. I, I understand, uh, Channing, that the Binya Foundation is supporting adaptive fitness efforts to involve viewers with disabilities. Can you talk about that a little bit for sure, us? Sure, Allie, I'd like to. Uh, this is obviously, as you know, the Binya Foundation is a community development organization and community involves the people in that community. So we're really excited about promoting the idea of adaptive fitness, especially for people with orthopedic uh, disabilities and issues, that kind of thing. Uh, because it's important to remember that uh, disabled fitness is not an oxymoron. We want that to be seen as mainstream. And there are people in our low country community who are really picking up the ball. We've had a lot of enthusiasm, for example, from Powerhouse Gym Family Fitness up in Bluffton. If anyone's interested in taking part in the class that they're trying to develop, they can call Sarah Bleem up there at Powerhouse Fitness and they'd be happy to sign you up. They're looking for about 15 participants, so we're, we're hoping that'll go really well. Well, some great information to get out to folks. Channing, uh, we are, we're out of time, but I understand that the uh, Tefusky Island Elementary School's annual oyster roast on Sunday was a big success. It was. It was, a, as you know, a big, busy weekend on Defusky, and that went just great. All the proceeds, obviously, are going to Defusky Elementary, and we want to thank Dolphin Management for all of their help putting on that event. They did a great job. Well, Channing Heist, Binya Foundation member and Defusky reporter, we want to thank you for joining us here thank on you, Hilton Allie. Head News. Thank you, Ali. It's always great to be with you.